Hello everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, I will let you know that what is Tableau Prep and how you can do data preparation or data cleaning using Tableau Prep. So whatever the data any organization or any business is generating, that data is not always in a format that can directly be visualized. I mean, for example, suppose if any company is generating data related to sales. So there might be chances that sometimes that sales data is not in a format which can be visualized. I mean, there can be some decimal issue or there can be some number format issue. So before actually visualizing the data which we have, which we have, or before actually like performing some data analysis on the data, first we need to bring the data in, in a format which can which can easily be visualized or which can easily be uh, easily be analyzed. So for performing these type of data preparation, we have various tools available, such as we have Informatica and we uh, uh, Informatica and we have a lot of other ETL tools. ETL is basically known as Extract Transform Load. So why why it is why all of these tools are known as ETL tools because we extract the data from a data source, we transform that data, transform transforming that data means that performing various data cleaning steps on top of that data, and then once that particular data is completed completed transform, we load that particular transform data to some some other place for, for some other place so that we can use partic that particular data for our analysis. So this is why it stands for ETL, which is known as extract, transform, and load. So Tableau Prep is also one of the ETL tools which is available in the market, which is provided by Tableau. So in this particular video, we will see how Tableau Prep can help us in, in the data provision and data cleaning process. So as you can see, I have already opened Tableau Prep in front of you and this is the home screen of Tableau Prep. Over here, I have recent flows. Uh, this basically shows that what all flows I was recently working on. And over here, I have two options. Uh, first of all, I have the option of connecting to the data. On, on top of which I, I want to perform a, a I, I want to perform the data transformation. So first of all, I will connect to the data. So I will go here and let me show you that what is the data I am using in today's video. I will also share the link to this particular data with you in the comment uh, in the description so that you can you can use this particular data uh, for your practice as well. So this is the data which I have. I have the ID. I have the pupil first name, pupil last name, gender. Date of birth, parental contact name one, contact name two, preferred contact employer, and preferred preferred contact. So let me connect to the data. So I know that this particular data is in the form of a flat file. So I will click on text file, and as you can see that here uh, here we have various option of data sources. So no matter wherever your data is stored, whether it is it is in the form of like some Google BigQuery or Google Drive or uh, SAP. So I mean wherever your data is stored, you can easily Take that particular data out from your source inside Tableau Prep and you can perform data preparation or data analysis inside Tableau Prep. So I will click on text file option because I know that my data is in the form of a CSV file. So I am clicking on, now I am selecting this particular data. So now I am connected to my data and now I will go over here. Here I have the various steps such as I can perform join between two tables, I can perform union, I can perform pivot. So as of now I will click on basic clean step. So as soon as I click on, uh, as soon as I select a new clean step, it will give me a data preview. I mean, it will show me the preview of the entire data which I am connected to. So as you can see that uh, it is showing me that first of all, I have the ID column, then I have the pupil first name, I have the pupil last name. And now here I have various options for data, uh, for some basic data cleaning, such as I, if I want to change the data type of any particular column, so I can just click on this. So as of now, I, as you can see that ID is in the form of, an, of a numerical data type, but I, if I want to change it to string, then I can just click here and I can change it to string. So we will explore all of, all of these option, uh, all, all of these option in the entire data preparation process, which I will show you now. So this is the data which I am connected to. Now this is this is what our requirements are. So first of all, the requirement was that input the CSV file. We have already done that. Now the second require requirement is form the pupil's name correctly for the records in the format last name and first name. So this is the output. This is the output how the final output should look like. So as of now, our data is looking somewhat like this. Like we have ID, people first name, people last name, gender, DOB, contact name, word, contact name to preferred contact employer and parental contact. And we want to transform this data in, in this particular format. I mean, we need the academic year of the pupil. We need the entire pupil name. We need the parent name of this particular pupil and the parental contact email address. So let's see how we can do the data preparation. So we will go as per the requirements given. So first requirement was input the CSV file. We have already done that. Now the second requirement is 
perform the pupil's name correctly for the records in the format last name and first name. So let us perform this particular step. So uh, I, I have added a clean step over here. Now I will create a calculated field over here. So I will click on create calculated field. And I will name this particular column as pupils name. Now we want the pupils name in the form of first we need the last name and secondly we need the first name. So I will uh, as you as we can see that we, we have pupil last name uh, as one of the columns in our data. So I will write pupil last name. Now the, 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 required, the required format as we can see in the output is that we need a comma between last name and first name. So what I will do is I will click on click on plus now I will, I will add a new string which will contain a comma and then after a comma there will be a blank space plus pupil first name. So it will give me pupil's name. So I will save this particular step. So as you can see that we have got a new column in our data. We have added a new column in our data which, which is pupil's name which, which basically is the, uh, is the concatenation of pupil's last name and pupil's first name. So I will name this particular, uh, now over here we can also name a particular step. For example, I added a new clean step. Now we can name that what we have performed in this particular step. So in this particular st step, we basically created the pupils name. So I will name uh, this particular step, uh, step as created pupils name. Uh, I think I have, yeah, it's N-A-N. -A. Okay. So till now we have achieved this, we have created the pupil's name. Now let's see what, what's the re next requirement. So the next requirement is form the parental context name in the form, in, in the same format as the pupils. Now uh, uh, we, we have already formatted the pupil name, but we want to generate the parent name of that particular pu pupil, that who is the parent for that particular pupil. But there is slightly different logic for generating the pupil pupil's parent name. So the parental context name one and two are, are the name are the first names of each parent. Use parental context column to select which parent first name to use along with the pupil's first pupil's last name. So what does this mean is that if I go over here, if I switch to this particular view, so as you can see that we have the pupil's name and we have the pupil's first name. Now we have the parental context name one and we have the parental context name two. So according to the question, according to the question set given to us, these two both are basically the first name only, and the last name will rem the last name of any people will remain same as of their parent. So it basically means that we have to extract last name from here, and we have to take first name from here. So if if one is written over here, it means that we will take parental context name one, and if two if two is written over here, then in case we will take parental context name two. If I again go to the requirement, so that is what have been asked. The parental contact name one and two are the first names of each parent. So these two, two columns basically contain the first name for each parent and use parental contact column to select which parent first name to use along with pupil's last name. So it, it basically means that uh, first name will be this and if one is written over here, then we will consider this as first name. If two is written over here, then we will consider this as the second name because it is the parental uh, sorry, this as the as the second name because this is the parental contact name too. So now, let for doing this, let us create a calculated calculation. Uh, so I am adding a new step for create uh, for for this particular transformation. So I am I will click on new clean step. So last name last name will be same as pupil's last name. Now we will create the parent's first name. So I will name this particular field as parent's first name. So parents first name will, will be basically if parental contact one, if parental contact is equals to one. So parental contact is the last column which we have. If for parental contact is equals to one, then in the in that case, last name will be parental contact name one. So the first yeah, the first name will be parental contact name one. Uh, then we will just write, we will use a basic if else condition over here. Else parental contact name two and so so what we are saying saying is that what will the first name of the parent that if parental contact is equals to one then parental contact name one else if it is apart from one which is two so in that case consider parental contact name two as the parent's first name so this will give us a new field which is parent first name 
so we have created this particular particular field now we want to combine this particular parents first name to the to the last name of of each of these particular parents so we will create a new new calculated field and this and this particular con, uh, new calculated field will be parental contact full name so it will be basically so it, it so it also needs to be in the form of last name comma first name so it will be first of all we will write pupil last name plus inside the string we will enter comma and space and then pupil first name so it will give us parental contact full name yeah so it has given me parental contact full name so i will name this particular field as a uh, particular step as created parental contact uh, full name okay now let's move further we have uh, we have generated these two columns so in the output we have the pupils name now we have the parental contact name now let now let's see what is the next requirement so we have uh, till th third number point we have done now as a next step what we need to do is create the email address to each create the email address to contact the parent using the format parents first name parents last name at the rate employer.com so now we will generate the parental con parents email address so we will i will add a new theme step over here and i will create a new calculated field so for creating the let, let us see what is the format given it is basically parents first name dot parents last name at the rate employer.com so parents first name we already have uh, so i will enter parents first name over here uh plus the format is basically parents first name dot parents last name so i will enter a dot over here uh plus parents last name so parents last name is basically pupils last name so i will enter pupils last name uh, pupils last name because obviously the last name of parent and pupil will obviously the same now uh, as a next step at the rate employer.com so i will enter at the rate over here uh, at the rate now the name of the employer so we already have a employer uh, employer uh, column in our data so i will enter preferred contact employer plus dot com and the name of this particular calculation will be parental contact email address so i will name this particular calculation as uh parental contact email address now in this particular step step we have created the email address so i will name this particular step as created email address so we have achieved uh, we have uh, done achieved all the step till this particular point which is created the email address now as a next step what we need to derive the uh, derive the academic year of each pupil based on the day based on the data based on the, based on his date of birth so each academic year starts on 1st december so year 1 academic year 1 is anyone born after 1st september 2014 year 2 is anyone born between 1st september 2013 and 31st august 2014 etc so now as a next step we will we will create a new calculated field in which we will derive the academic year of each pupil based on the based on the date of birth given in our data so this is the date of birth which is which has been given in our data and if i sh shift it to profile pane so i can see that uh, so these are the dates i have the dates from 1st january 2011 to to 1st january 2016 now i will create a new calculate field to derive the academic year so i will name this particular calculated field as academic year and i will write the calculation as if date of birth is greater than or equal to uh 2014 uh 0901 which is first september 2014 because it was written it, it was given in the requirements i will put a new hashtag over here then one uh else if date of birth is greater than or equal to uh 
zero nine zero one ten two as if date of birth is greater than or equal to twenty twelve zero nine zero one ten three now the last condition is, is else if date of birth is greater than equal to we, we, we are doing this because we we know that in our data we have the we, we have the dates from 2011 and it was written that a new academic year starts from 1st of september so we are taking the date still from 2011 so la the last condition will be for 2011 so if the date of birth is greater than 2011 which is 1st september 2011 uh, then four, and now we will end this particular calculation. So it will give give us the academic year. So as you can see, we have derived the academic year from uh, academic year using this particular calculation, which is two, four, four, one, and three. Now, as a next step, what what we will do is that now we, we can add an output field to our. We can, sorry, I, I first of all I will name this particular particular step as academic year because we derive academic year in this particular calculation now as a next step i will add a one more clean step and we will bring the data in the in the desired format which we which we needed so the desired format in the output is first we need the academic year then we need the pupil's name so we have the academic year over here then we need the pupil's name so we can just drag any column over here this, this is a good functionality inside tableau Club that we can drag any column wherever we want then third column we name we need is parental contact full name and the fourth is parental contact email address so we have the parental contact full name over here and we have the parental contact email address over here so we we need these four uh, columns in the output so we have added these four columns in the output and all the other column, columns are non not relevant to us so we, we will just remove all of these columns so using shift, I will select all of these co columns and then I will right click. Uh, yeah, I will right click and I will click on remove. So it will remove all the other columns which I selected. And so so now, now we have got our desired output. We have the academic year, we have the pupil's name, we have the parental contact name and we have the parental contact email address. Now I will add an output step to output this particular data in in any format which I need. So I can add the output this particular data in the form of a file or in the form of a published data source or in the form of a database table. So I will run the flow and it will output the data. I, I also have the option of like uh, uh, of selecting the location. So say in case I need to save this particular data on the desktop, then I will just click on uh, desktop option and I will name this output as output say uh, 2234 or whatever name we want and I will save this in the form of Microsoft Excel file and uh, yeah we'll run the flow so there's some issue with the uh, we need to enter a worksheet name as well so I will enter the worksheet name as output only yeah. so I will run the flow So now the output is generated. So let me go to the desktop and see whether that particular file has been created or not. So as you can see that this particular file is created and if I open this particular file. Yeah, so we, we have got the data in, in the re required format. So you saw that what was the input which I took and what is the output which I am getting. So I am getting the output in the correct format. And if we match it with the output which we had. So as you can see that we have uh, two the, the, the pupil's name and the pupil's contact name and the pupil's contact email address and this is exactly what we required. So this was all for this video guys. Thank you so much. And if you have any doubts or any queries then feel free to comment down in the comment section. Thank you.